Sarah Motherwell from the Western Suburbs Weekly here at Iona Presentation College with Vanessa Paget from Bush Wisdom Survivor. Vanessa, there's a lot of snakes coming out in spring. What should people do if they stumble across one? Okay, first of all, they need to uh, manage their emotions. Just step back nice and slowly. Uh, we do really need them to, to sort of keep an eye on where the snake is, but from a distance. And you do have a helpline from uh, deck that you can ring and then they'll give you telephone numbers of people that will come out and relocate any animal, any native animal that needs to be uh, rescued or relocated. What are some of the common myths about snakes that you would like to dispel? Uh, definitely that we've already had today from the girls is that is it going to bite me, is it going to want to harm me and of course no, what they're after is uh, just for their survival which is shelter, uh, warmth or uh, something to eat. If you clean up your backyards and make it um, not as attractive for a snake to come and visit then you're already in front. What can you tell me about the snake you're currently holding? This one here is a adult southwest carpet python that we uh, have in the southwest, of course, of Western Australia, and would really like to see more and more of these. Uh, these guys certainly like their mice to um, eat and uh, help <laughs> help cut down the, the vermin that we have. We can't do without them. We really do need them, and it's a case of just understanding. Uh, that these guys aren't out there to eat us and, uh, and as I say we don't smell like a rat or a frog so um, really honestly you've got nothing to worry about from these guys. Uh, we just need to make sure that we protect them from the cats and the dogs. Thanks very much Vanessa. Thank you. Sophia what can you tell me about today? Were you afraid of snakes when you first came? Um, not really. I wasn't terrified of them but I never really had an encounter with one as close as this. And what, have, what do you think is the most important thing that you've learned today? Um, just how to relate with snakes in the, na in the wild and how to hold them and look after them. Well, as you can see, they're not slimy and slippery as many people might think, but they're actually quite cuddly, aren't they? Yes. Thanks, Sophia. Thank you.